I'm a real Bob, paparazzi barber here. Um, I wanted to relay a message to barbers about clientele building and clientele retaining, which I will be teaching in my class uh, coming soon or wherever or whenever the time is right or the creator say, say it's time. But um, there will be a time where you have to cut your clientele short, meaning you're going to have to say, I'm not accepting new clientele when you reach to a certain point. Some people say you you can never have too much clients, but I beg to differ because if you have too much clients and you're not working off an app or whatever the case may be, then clientele are going to walk in and then you're going to try to cut all of them and then you're going to diminish your brand because you're not going to put the effort and the quality into each cut. So sometimes too much clientele will diminish your brand, which will hurt you in the long run and then you're chasing. You're not letting the cuts or the people chase you. So be aware that when you have too many clients that will suffocate your brand and yourself and you will get tired like me, I'm always tired. I'm always worn out, but I know how to cut through that. But eventually it's going to catch me and I'm going to have to take a break or a leave or whatever the case may be just to catch myself because I am a human being. So barbers, when you're building clientele. I'm talking to the barbers that have a certain amount of clientele. They have so much work and they do so well that they people are just coming and coming and coming. I, I get a new clientele every single day. Today, I got three new clientele, three. So that means a lot more coming because I promote myself. Um, word of mouth. Everybody's talking. They mention in the paparazzi um, It's people sending people to me. It's all kinds of different things just coming my way, which is a blessing and I appreciate it. But um, it's going to be a time where I hit the wall and say, yo, I can't take this much or I raise my prices because when you're in demand, the price goes up. Jamaica, remember I said that when you're in demand, the price goes up. You cannot cut all these people for the same price and, and with, with uh, uh, the great quality of work and then charge them um, uh the price that you, you started with. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense in any form of business anywhere in the world. And down here, a lot of customers, they get a lot for um, the price that they are getting. Because if I'm in New York, the cuts that I'm giving out down here is worth 50 and up, 40, 50, whatever the case, depending on if I'm enhancing or if I'm doing a facial or whatever the case may be, cuts could run up to hundreds of dollars. But down here is a little different. So um, just be aware of that. Um, and as a barber, when you're building your clientele, I'm going to show you how to start and, 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 and how to continue to grow the clientele and how to weed out certain clientele that you don't want. Because eventually you're going to get to the point where the clientele that's coming to you, some of them you're going to be like, who sent this, who sent this dude to me? And you're going to be mad. So you're going to have to learn clientele control. That's going to be one of the classes clientele control because I, I i feel like this is a science and a lot of things aren't being addressed um a lot of things aren't being addressed you know everybody's showing you how to cut and enhance and they're not showing you the science of it they're not showing you the details and and they're not showing you um how to maneuver how to carry yourself how to speak how to, it's a certain guys that's doing that too um but i got my own thing and I've been waiting for this day for a long time and I'm in the right place, which is Jamaica, to promote my tutorials and to teach people how to create opportunities. Carry on.